Hi everybody, this is Pearl and today we're going to talk to you about how we saved her life. So about two weeks ago, we brought home some little chicks and this little one right here, his name Pearl, was not doing very well. She was very wobbly, was having a hard time getting to the feeder and the water and all the other chicks were kind of barreling over her. So we wanted to try and give her best opportunity to survive. So we separated her from the group. And so one of the things that we did was we got a box and we um, kind of created almost like a little nursery for her. We took a big towel, put it across the bottom, um, and then got a little feeder and water in there and then hooked up a heat lamp for her just to separate her and let her be able to um, get to that water and that food and get her rehydrated. Um, one of the things that we used was a little lid. Actually, this came off of a peanut butter jar. Um, it was nice and shallow, so I didn't have to worry about her. Um, drowning in it, um, but we put uh, lukewarm water in here and then also put some of the electrolytes in there as well to help boost her energy and um, that hydration factor as well. And then we took a little tiny um, glass jar is all I grabbed for her for her food and um, put that in there and just kept that um, for something little for her to be able to eat out of. And um, kept her separated for about three days and then um, but each day we'd let her go in and see the others just so they would be comfortable with her and you know wouldn't start picking on her once she finally was able to graduate and go back with the bigger guys. Um, but as you can see, we are on week two and she is fully integrated with the others and holding her own completely. She is still a lot smaller than them, but definitely doing a lot better than she was when we brought her home. So in the beginning, one of the things that we really noticed was how dehydrated Pearl was. So um, what we did was we took a Q-tip. You can use a little syringe, um, but a Q-tip was all we had, unfortunately. And you can dip it in the water and get that out of that Q-tip nice and um, wet. And you can feed in that water to them on the side of their beak. So you just kind of want to let it drip. It'll drip off, give them a little bit of water. It just encourages them to start getting hydrated. Um, only had to do that probably two or three times within like a 20 to 30 minute period, got her nice and hydrated and then showed her the water again and she's been drinking all on her own ever since. So Q-tips are really handy if you have those teeny, teeny babies that are just not able to get enough water. So right now, as you can see the feed that we have in here, it is a little different than what we did have in uh, when we first brought them home when they were just a couple of days old. It was a lot more fine. And um, this is a little bit larger granules mixed in, um, which, I don't know if it would make that much of a difference, but it just seemed like it'd be a little bit easier if it's really, really fine and um, almost like a, a little sand um, consistency. And that seems to be just a little bit better for them to take in. This is a little bit larger, a little bit big for their beaks probably. Um, but they have now moved up to this and they're doing just fine on it. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit the like and subscribe. Say bye.